Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin with another update on the Bricks Fanless Mini PC. I'm getting a lot of fun use out of this thing and I'm getting a lot of great questions from you. So uh, the latest question came from a lot of you and you were wondering, uh, can it run a Plex server? And the answer is, of course it can. And as you can see right here, by the way, if you don't know what Plex is, it allows you uh, to take media that's stored on your device and uh, stream it or even encode it and then download it uh, to an iPad or, or an Ouya or some other, uh, some other device uh, anywhere you are in the world. Now, I am streaming this over my local Wi-Fi from a Blu-ray MKV, and as you can see, it keeps kind of freezing up and stuttering, so it's really not doing too well. I'm sure I could adjust uh, some of the settings and uh, make it work a little bit better, but uh, I don't think it's going to work too well to stream uh, Blu-ray MKVs over uh, Plex, although it does do just fine streaming them directly to a television. Uh, here you can see our processor uh, speed and or usage, and it's almost 100% here, and uh, SpeedFan is telling me that we're running about 160 degrees uh, on both cores, so pretty, uh, you know, pretty much pegged it, but I haven't seen it go above 160, so I think uh, you know, people that are worried about it overheating, I don't think we're going to have that problem. Now, what it can do, though, is on uh, lower files that aren't as um, strenuous on the system, uh, so this is a uh, thing I grabbed off my DVR the other night, and this one seems to be working a little bit better. This is 24 from uh, the other night. And this one doesn't really stutter at all. It seems to be running pretty well. Uh, it's a little bit dark in this screen, but I was running it for a while and it didn't really have any problems there. So I hope that answers your question about streaming Plex Media from the Fanless Bricks Mini PC. It seems to work okay with smaller files, but those larger Blu-ray MKVs, it's going to have a hard time chewing on. If you're doing some kind of offline work where you know, you're encoding and then downloading to a device, that should work. It'll take a little bit longer than perhaps an i7 machine will, but it will certainly get over there. But uh, for the real-time streaming off a large file, uh, probably not going to work too well. However, what we've see, seen in our other tests is that it can play back those large files natively quite well without transcoding them. So uh, if you're using this as a home theater PC, I still think it'll uh, work pretty well at that. And if you look at some of the other videos I have in the series, uh, you can see how well it performs in that regard. This is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching.